You ever wonder what happens to all those leaves we gather into piles in the fall? In the summer, we chop grass into little tiny bits that seem to just disappear after a few days. But the leaves just seem to stick around before they disappear. But how do they disappear? Enter the springtail. This, or rather, these are springtails. Springtails are small but abundant organisms found throughout the world. They get their name from the whippy appendage tucked under their abdomen that acts like a spring. They like to jump. Chances are you have some springtails likely under a rock in your yard. They make up the largest of only three orders of entognats. They have six jointed legs, like true insects, but their mouth parts are on the outside of their heads rather than on their faces. In fact, springtails may have more in common with crabs than they do with butterflies. Producers like plants and algae make their own food through photosynthesis. Consumers like cows or you or me get energy by eating, consuming producers and other consumers, be they animal, plant, fungus, bacteria, whatever. Springtails belong to an extremely important third group known as decomposers. As the name suggests, decomposers break down other dead organic material. Springtails are amazing at breaking down dead, fallen leaves. They are great at eating all sorts of waste like leftover food, mold, and poop. That's why they're super popular with certain pet owners. I keep a collection of springtails, a few isopods, and Gary the ram's horn snail in a vivarium with my dart frogs so I don't have to clean up after them. Decomposers, helping to make the world a cleaner place. Thanks for watching and keep discovering. Bye.